thought I would quickly say a few things about an issue that's come up for public debate over the last few days. About a week ago, um, comedian and UFC commentator Joe Rogan uh, flew here to Alberta where I live uh, with his buddy Cameron Haynes and they went up into the mountains and uh, bow hunted for black bear and uh, Joe was able to shoot a black bear and um, the two of them photographed themselves uh, in you know the typical kind of uh, Western style of man overcomes beast uh, with the carcass of the bear and then um, Joe also uh, tweeted some photos of the bear meat when he was eating and I saw on, on uh, Cameron's Facebook uh, some pictures of the butchery and that kind of thing um, but anyway I guess there's been kind of a public outcry um, on Twitter and elsewhere about um, you know these so-called meatheads out here killing animals innocent animals and those kind of a thing and I just wanted to put in you know my perspective or add my perspective to um, to the debate uh, for what it's worth and here goes okay basically um, I see what Joe Rogan's doing by the way I am you know a fan of both of these guys Joe Rogan and Cameron Haynes um, Cameron I listen to Joe Rogan's podcast regularly um, I like the way that he thinks for the most part and Joe Rogan uh, or, or Cameron Haynes um, is, a, is a famous bow hunter um, kind of an endurance bow hunter from Oregon and every day this guy um, does fitness training weight training and running um, up a mountain um, oftentimes he'll strap like a 70 pound rock on his back and go up and down the mountain um, to simulate having to carry meat um, and he'll and he'll shoot he'll practice shooting so every day he does weightlifting running endurance running um, and shooting all training um, specifically for um, hunting and this is a guy that likes to go in the backcountry with a bow and come out with meat um, to eat. Joe Rogan has made a commitment to try to um, secure through hunting all of his own meat um, so that he's not buying any food off the global um, trade out of the supermarket any uh, any um, meat anyway and he is also gardening at his house um, trying to raise his own fruits and vegetables and those kind of things and I respect both of them for both of those endeavors I think that's awesome um, I know that Joe trained for uh, months and spent probably hundreds of hours training to shoot uh, his bow so that when they did encounter this bear um, it was one shot and within seconds the bear was dead and uh, I respect that okay but <laughs> I'm not without having some issue about this as well and my issue is that um, these guys flew here to Alberta and killed a bear and um, I don't while well, I while well, I agree with everything else they're doing I don't agree that this is ethical or sustainable um, or this is a movement toward ethical or sustainable uh, uh, subsistence if you have to get on a jet plane and travel um, to another territory and um, kill animals there because um, I feel that you should be sustaining yourself out of your own local watershed uh, that locavorism is the true ethical uh, food future and it was the ethical food past um, and the sustainable one and if we don't move toward locavorism we're going to continue to have problems and so guys that can afford to hop on a jet plane and come here to Alberta and shoot a bear and haul it back home um, guys I don't think this is ethical at all in fact um, in terms of environmental effect I think it's, it has a worse effect 
than the global food trade because these are just single guys um, spending that jet fuel to come out here and secure the bear and bring it home. Uh, whereas, in, at least in the global food trade, um, you have many animals being killed at a particular location at once and being shipped um, together and it uses much less fuel. fuel um, there's much less of an environmental footprint than just two individuals jet hopping to come and kill an animal somewhere. I think that um, really the ethical way to go is uh, if these two want to be hunting partners that when um, Cameron Haynes visits California they should hunt in California at Joe Rogan's backyard and when Joe Rogan visits Oregon they should hunt in Oregon in Cameron Haynes backyard but I think for the most part if they want to do ethical hunting they need to do it in their own backyards in their own watersheds locavorism and I'm not talking about the hundred mile thing I'm talking about what is your particular watershed that you inhabit because that is the way um, that it was in the past when things actually worked and were sustainable the political boundaries um, of your territory were defined by the watershed and the foods that were in that watershed and when you hopped into another watershed even a neighboring watershed not to mention going halfway across the continent but when you hopped into a neighboring watershed and took some of their food that was war that meant war and um, so this is the issue that I have with Joe and Cameron coming here. I like both of them. I continue to be supporters of both of them and their activities, but I think they need to come to grips with that part, um, which is keeping their activities local. Don't be globe trotting um, to hunt animals because that is definitely no, <coughs> not um, taking them on the road to being a more um, environmentally ethical um, uh, consumer and so that's the issue that are the main issue that I have with them I also have issue with the photograph that was taken the hunter pose behind the dead bear um, you know it's not that big of a deal that one but it is a it is a recapitulation of a cultural um, cultural ideal and you know what they're basically showing is man conquered beast and um, and that is not the message that used to be um, around when there was sustainable um, hunting in the not too distant indigenous past the message at that in that time what would have been the bear gave itself to these men and instead of we're you know we're kneeling over him and smiling and, and here's our weapons and we killed him um, because we're big boncho men that is not a good message I, I don't think to um, reproduce in our culture I think we need a different message we need a message um, that has more respect for the animals than that I think um, posting the video of of um, of the butchering of the bear was a good idea I know cam did that um, I think that's good I think posting the uh, photographs of uh, the bear meat and eating them uh, eating the bear for dinner I think that was great but posing with the with the bear carcass um, it, it just reeks of that Western mentality of um, man overcoming nature and I think that's a bullshit idea um, that it, we need to get rid of so those are my two issues the main one though however being that jet setting across the you know to other parts of the world to hunt is not ethical is not environmentally ethical um, is worse actually um, environmentally than just buying something at the grocery store where you live so that's my two cents and uh, my way in on the public debate